At the start of the movie, Ha Yoon Ju, a woman with photographic memory, follows a man on a bus. She follows his every moment when James, a professional and extremely intelligent criminal specializing in circumventing surveillance systems and seamlessly pulling off high-risk crimes with his own specialized team, bumps into her. However, since Yoon Ju is busy surveilling her target, she doesn't notice James. When the bus arrives at a local station, the man gets out and Yoon Ju follows him. As he walks through the street, he pretends to talk with someone over the phone. The man then enters a restaurant while Yoon Ju also follows his act. While observing him, Yoon Ju gets caught in the act and the man angrily asks why she was following him from the subway. Before Yoon Ju can answer, the man introduces himself as Chief Detective Huang, who specializes in surveillance to identify criminals and frauds. His division avoids arresting criminals and focuses exclusively on following them around to gather information. Unknown to Yoon Ju, it turns out that Chief Huang was testing her observation and memorization skills as part of her job interview. Meanwhile, James goes to a nearby building to set up an explosion so that he and his team can execute their mission of robbing a bank. He waits for the perfect timing for the sun to rise and reflect on the CCTV cameras. Once the explosion takes place, it becomes a distraction for police and firefighters. Standing on the rooftop, James directs his team's movements below and orders them to begin the mission. His team nearly gets caught when one of the men becomes greedy and decides to rob more money than planned. Once the robbers complete their mission, they immediately drive away as police chase behind them. Another accomplice, who's a truck driver, clashes with police cars, helping his friends to flee away, and also manages to escape the scene himself. Back in the restaurant, Chief Huang asks Yoon Ju to detail everything she noticed and memorized while she was observing him. Given her photographic memory, Yoon Ju neatly elaborates on everything that she saw from the bus to the restaurant but pauses when the chief asks about the newspaper he was carrying. Yoonju tries her best to remember what happened after the chief dropped his newspaper, but cannot seem to retrieve the memory. When Chief Huang encourages her to play the scenario once again in her head, Yoonju finally remembers that a young boy sitting next to him picked up the newspaper and took it with him. The chief is satisfied with the result, so he tells Yoonju that she's hired into his division. Later that night, the robbers are distributing their share of the money when James arrives at the scene and brutally injures the greedy man who nearly got them caught. He burns the van that his men used for the robbery to leave no trace for police investigation. Picking up his share, James then heads to his boss's place. Back at his division, Chief Huang learns that the robbery was so perfectly executed that they didn't leave any trace behind. He orders his staff to look through every CCTV footage in the area, but to no avail. Even if they find suspects, they can't clearly identify any of the robbers due to their masks and their efficiency in robbing the bank. At his boss's place, James gets orders for his next mission, to rob important files from an accounting corporation. In the meantime, Chief Huang and his team finally spot the truck driver in a corner store, near the bank. The chief then orders his staff to get his full details. Just then, Yoon Ju arrives at the workplace for her first day at the job. Chief Huang introduces her to their department head, Lee. Like all of her teammates, Yoon Ju is given an animal code name. And while her preferences run towards the noble-sounding reindeer, Chief Huang wants her to take the name Piglet. Next, Chief Huang introduces her to the surveillance team each having their code names as Sloth, Monkey, Mole, Viper, Parrot, Ostrich, and Squirrel. After the briefing, the team soon goes undercover to chase the truck guy, who they nickname Hippo. While on a van, Chief Huang puts on alternating small-scale maps of the different regions in Seoul so that he always has a bird's-eye view of where his officers are at all times. Next, each of the members goes on in their assigned directions, acting as normal people, while Chief Huang is on where he needs to be, in his constantly moving van set up for his purposes, and helps wrangle his officers so things run as smoothly as possible. 
In his apartment, James plans for his next mission to steal important accounting files from an accounting company. James's signature move is that he doesn't directly involve himself in the action, preferring to plan everything out with mathematical precision so that he can watch the events unfold from various rooftop perches. On the other hand, Chief Huang and his officers spend several weeks wandering around the city streets, tagging after people who match Hippo's physical description. Meanwhile, James and his men manage to complete their second mission. While packing his equipment on a rooftop, James notices a man photographing him from a building nearby. Scared of being caught, he immediately goes to the building to find the man and mercilessly kills him with a knife. Elsewhere, department head Lee gets a call from her superior about the robbery in the accounting firm. She then lashes out at the chief for not finding any information on the first case, let alone investigating the second one. One night, while going undercover, Yoonju notices a group of men bullying a poor family for their money. The men threaten to kill each of the members. As an officer herself, Yoonju cannot tolerate the bullying, so she intervenes in the situation. After managing to fight off two men, she's held back by the third one. Thankfully, Chief Huang arrives at the scene and rescues her. Later, he scolds Yoonju, explaining that as a surveillance officer, it's not their duty to intervene directly in a case, even if it means leaving people to die. Their only duty is to track targets with their eyes and feet. Meanwhile, James wishes to quit his line of work, so he refuses to take any mission from his boss. The boss responds by sending a man to kill James, whom he successfully defends against. He then goes back to his boss's place and takes the files for the next mission, furiously claiming that it would be his last. Later, in his apartment, James answers a phone call where he confirms that he's getting a passport to flee the country. At her office desk, Yoonju realizes that they've been tracking Hippo in the wrong areas. She then informs the chief about it, and the officers immediately go undercover to look for Hippo. Not long after, Yoonju spots him and follows him, only to be distracted by a disaster that ensued in a local shop. However, she gets a hold of him in an apartment nearby and follows after. After confirming Hippo's apartment room, Chief Huang assigns Squirrel to put hidden cameras outside Hippo's apartment, which he successfully does. In the following scene, James heads his next and final mission, to infiltrate the server room of the stock exchange and plant software, as requested by a mysterious broker. He manages to get the IP address of the stock exchange and conveys the plan to his right-hand man. Chief Huang and his officers monitor Hippo's behaviors and patiently wait for any lead they could get from him about the bank robbery case. The chief is then called upon by department head Lee to investigate the crime scene where James had murdered the photographer. Reaching the photographer's apartment, the chief realizes that the photographer was just a liability, killed for mistakenly infiltrating James's second mission. He notes that James is the leader who watches his men perform the work from the rooftop. One night, Yoonju and Chief Huang rummage through Hippo's garbage to look for any clue. They find torn pieces of Sudoku, but the numbers are all wrong. After scanning through the computers, the officers discover that the numbers are actually the IP address for the stock exchange. The following day, the officers follow Hippo and find out that he's meeting with his fellow robbers to discuss the next mission. Squirrel manages to photograph them and hack their comms, getting the identities of all six criminals except their leader, James. Through their comms, department head Lee and the others back in the office track down James's location, and Chief Huang and Yoon Ju immediately follow him. James reaches the rooftop of a building while his men drive towards the stock exchange for the heist. Suddenly, he notices Chief Huang's officers waiting to arrest his men. James hurriedly calls his men and orders them to abort the mission. He then runs down the stairs where Chief Huang and Yoon Ju are waiting for him. With no option left, James smashes a window with a fire extinguisher and jumps out of it, managing to escape the officers. Meanwhile, James's men are caught in a firefight between them and police officers. Two of them end up dead while the others get arrested. Next, department head Lee and her team tracks down James's phone location and convey the message to the chief and Yoon Ju. 
The two go after the leader but still cannot get his proper sight. Yoon Ju finally gets a closer view of James when he follows him through an alley. The latter, however, identifies the undercover officers and runs away. Later in the street, Yoon Ju once again gets a glimpse of James and Squirrel, who is undercover as traffic police, and says that he'll try to get James's ID. Squirrel then approaches him and asks for an ID. James, realizing that he's one of the undercover officers, silently punctures Squirrel's neck with a sharp pen. A devastated Yoon Ju immediately goes for help, but in the process, she loses track of James. In the hospital, Chief Huang and Yoon Ju wait outside the emergency room when one of the nurses confirms that Squirrel is dead because of massive blood loss. Elsewhere, James is criticized by his boss for his incompetency and failing the mission. Furious, he attacks his boss's hideout, murdering the boss and his bodyguards. He then acquires a fake Thai passport and gets ready to leave South Korea. Elsewhere, Chief Huang and Yoon Ju are devastated at the death of their colleague. As a result, the chief announces his resignation, while Yoon Ju takes a leave of absence. However, while Yoon Ju is doing her laundry, she suddenly remembers, using her exceptional memory, that she had randomly run into James in the past. Namely, on the day of her police interview, James had fleetingly bumped into her and walked past inside a bus, carrying a grocery store brochure. Yoon Ju immediately runs to the grocery store and waits there, managing to catch sight of James again, and urgently notifies Chief Huang and his officers while staying on James's tail. Next, James walks into a restaurant, and Yoon Ju follows him from behind. After getting his food, he confronts Yoon Ju for following him. The officer acts normal and refuses this statement, while also managing to send a text to her chief. While James questions Yoon Ju, he notices Chief Huang entering the restaurant. He immediately recognizes the chief, having seen him in a mirror the day before, when he was followed in the alley. James then leaves Yoon Ju and walks out to go into the parking lot. Soon, Chief Huang takes over the pursuit, but James stabs him from behind and flees the area. Luckily though, the wound isn't fatal. Shortly after, Yoon Ju arrives at the scene, and the chief orders her to continue the pursuit into the subway tunnels. However, this time she's recognized by James and is eventually held hostage. Meanwhile, department head Lee orders a SWAT team to assist the officers. When the SWAT team comes down to the subway tunnel and rounds him up, James lets go of Yoon Ju but escapes and runs deeper into the tunnels. As the chase goes on, James finds himself trapped between the advancing SWAT team and the mouth of the tunnel, which is being guarded by Chief Huang, who ran the long way around despite his injuries. As James decides to charge at the chief, the latter, finding himself at the juncture of an oncoming train, stands his ground to shoot at James, risking a 50-50 chance that the train will hit him. Fortunately, the train takes the other route, and Chief Huang shoots James with his revolver, instantly killing him. Encouraged by the success, Huang withdraws his resignation. Later, the officers put on their formal clothes and attend Squirrel's funeral. In the movie's final scene, Chief Huang, together with Yoon Ju, continues to execute further missions, including the pursuit of an international terrorist who turns out to be James's accomplice.